Hey, good afternoon everybody, it's Matt, and welcome to day number 29 of the 30 Day PKAG Marathon. Uh, today I'm actually going to do some staking and just see what we can do. I got another mill out, and whatever happens with this mill happens with it. I have some interesting topics to talk about today. Uh, some pretty cool things have happened, so I just wanted to tell you about it, and yeah, I hope you enjoy. Oh, hums. Good luck. So guys, I got access to Monster Cat Media, uh, their music, their whole library. They actually gave me access to it so that I can use some of their music in my videos, which is really, really cool. And hopefully I... Okay, cool. It's DDS. I thought he turned off uh, weapons for a second. All right. Good luck. Hopefully we win. Down 15. Oh, God. We're down a lot. Oh, double zero. Come on, guys. We need it. Uh, we're slightly ahead. Slightly ahead. Up, oh, he got a level. Don't know what he got, but he got a level. Uh, 22 HP, and please be dead. Yeah, good fight. All right. Uh, so basically, now I have a huge repertoire of music to to basically use for for content, and uh, I've been kind of running out of music to use for videos, uh, at least in the background. And um, not that you guys like that many montages, but um, even if I wanted to just put some music behind my commentary, at least I have some more music to to use, which is really good, so um, if you guys like Monster Cat and you like their music and you have a song suggestion for me, just leave it down below in a comment, that'd be pretty awesome. Alright, 146k. Here we go. Let's do this. This guy is pretty decently good. You know, he's got 60 defense. I got a HP advantage against him, and I guess I got pit against him as well, but alright, this is gonna come down to the wire. Let's do it! Uh, we gotta get lucky. Oh, we got lucky! Nice. Good fight, sir. Alright. Good, good win. We got a good win, guys. We're up we're up a little bit. We're up like 300k-ish so far, if we count the glory and the coins, which is really good. So let's see if we can find somebody else. So guys, if I had to recommend a movie for the summer, I really have to say This Is The End is a really freaking good movie. The way it starts out is just so fucking amazing. It's, it's got to be legendary, like uh, Seth Rogen and, and Jonah Hill, like classic. It was, it was amazing. And uh, uh, the movie in general was pretty good. So I, I would strongly recommend it to, to everybody. Uh, cool, man. Dr. Flux. Hopefully I can get the first hit, but I gotta time it. Nope, didn't get it. I'm a noob. Oh, dude. What the hell? Oh. Oh, good fight, dude. <laughs> Alright. I guess we won that one. I don't know how we won it. No, well, but basically the, the movie starts out... Actually, I'm not gonna tell you, but basically go see the movie. This is the end. Really good movie. Um, and I, I didn't mean to say that uh, Man of Steel was bad. It, it actually really wasn't that bad of a movie. It just didn't live up to the expectations that I had. Um, you know, I hope you guys can understand that. You know, like I thought the movie was going to be really freaking good, and it ended up being, eh, it was okay, pretty good. Not amazing. Not not the Dark Knight. It wasn't like the Dark Knight. That's classic uh, production work by Christopher Nolan. Christopher Nolan could have done a few other things with uh, Man of Steel, but... And by the way, the ending didn't make any sense. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm not going give to give away the ending, but the ending did not make any sense. Ayo! Ay -ay -ay. Alright. Ayo! Ay -ay. Alrighty. So guys, a few of you um, asked me some questions, and one of them was actually from a user by the name of John Quincy. I lost the image, but basically he asked me, what, what, is, what are your hobbies, Matt? And, um, wow, we're wrecking this guy. Holy crap, we force back them. Sweet. Alright, thanks. Appreciate it. Um, basically, I like to play basketball. I bowl. Um, I've gone bowling... Uh, you know, of course, with another video maker named Lee Regicidal, but I, I, I usually bowl in leagues, you know, uh, 
friendly leagues, not like hardcore tournaments or anything like that. In case any of you are bowlers, uh, I basically bowl in house leagues and things like that where just kind of bowl for fun. Even though I'm pretty good, I guess my average is right around like a 195. Um, not amazing. Like I, I know that others uh, in my league are like 220, 215, but I usually bowl you know, right around like a 190, 195 average. Pretty good. And um, I bowled varsity and I made it to the uh, county tournament. Uh, and uh, I think one year I didn't make it to states, not individually, but as a team we made it to states. I was kind of like, I was only a freshman, so I was like a backup bowler, which is all right. Uh, I bowled two handed. So basically, I take the bowling ball like this. I stick my two fingers in it and I leave my thumb out and I hold the ball like this and I just bring it back and I and I just you know I go like that and I spin it and I put a lot of revolutions in the ball and if you want to see an example of what I'm talking about like with two-handed bowling I know Lee has an example of him bowling two-handed on his channel and also uh, you can look up somebody named Jason Belmonte or Oscu Palerma they're really sick at the two-handed style so that's like one of my main hobbies but you know gaming of course is a hobby it's a given you know you guys know I play RuneScape and other MMOs um, I play basketball I go out I jog I have to get into shape a little bit more I haven't really worked out in a couple of weeks because I've been sick and uh, so I gotta I gotta get on that but yeah that's really my hobbies I do go out uh, to some clubs and bars and have a good time with people normal stuff that you would do at age 22 um, I go to the city a lot. I go to New York City and hang out with people, go to restaurants, and try to just like enjoy the summer. So I'm going to be going traveling and stuff. Uh, going to go, you know, of course, upstate New York to Mohonk Mountain to do some mountain climbing, and then going to go to Vermont uh, and New Hampshire. In New Hampshire, I'm going to see uh, Mount Washington, which is going to be really cool. Um, I really wanted to visit that mountain. In the wintertime, actually, Things get to be right around, uh, the temperature gets to be right around 100 degrees below zero sometimes. Like, it's really, really, really cold there. But during the summer, it's kind of cool. It's like 58, 60, 60 degrees. Um, if you go at the end of the summer, you actually get to see the fall foliage, which is pretty cool. Um, why does this guy not want to stake? All right. But uh, yeah, so I kind of I kind of do all that, and uh, so hopefully that paints a picture of kind of some of the hobbies I like to do. You know, uh, I also have a coin collection and a stamp collection. If any of you guys get enough, you guys don't give a shit about that. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna go find another steak. You know, I actually forgot one other place. I you know I completely lost it jogged my mind there. I'm actually gonna be going to Seattle again. You know, you guys know uh, I kind of briefly mentioned it, but I'm gonna go to Seattle for PAX Prime. Um, and that's going to be a pretty cool gaming event, so uh, I can't wait to actually to go. Like, oh wow, I just rambled him. <laughs> Holy shit, that was crazy. Nice. All right, so gonna go to PAX Prime in Seattle, Washington, um, and uh, meet up with a couple of people that uh, are going to be going to that event. And I know that a couple of you guys mentioned that you wanted to meet up in Seattle because you live on the West Coast. And uh, I will be definitely giving you guys the details about that. Basically, it's going to be somewhere between August 30th and September 2nd because that's when the event is. But um, thinking about doing like a small meetup at the Needle, um, i got to make sure that the trip is planned properly too. So uh, I'll keep you guys updated on that. So yeah, looking forward to it. Good luck, man. Good luck. A O A A. A O A A. I can't see. Oh, I got the first hit somehow. No, the lawnmower. That desperate for movement. If I was desperate for movement, I would have turned movement on. See, look, now you got the first hit. Now I think I got the first hit back. Well, that was really weird. Holy crap. See. Si. See, si, senor. Alright. We're up. We're up like a mill now. That's awesome. Um, yeah, pretty sick. Alrighty, so we're going to be staking this guy for 100k, and the 
Sweeper. Good luck, the Sweeper. Oh, thanks, man. I appreciate it. Thanks for the comment. Oh, wow. I got the first hit. Okay. Um. Whoa! Good, dude. Good fight. All right. We're up, we're up like 991k plus a glory. Pretty sick. So another question comes in from Razor for Life 16 and he basically asks me, Matt, can you make day number 31 the, a day of showing all the loot that you got from the 30 days to Peking Marathon? And absolutely, I actually was intending on doing that. I'm glad you brought that up because um, the loot that I'm actually going to show you is actually the profit margin because, you know, I figure I die a lot, I gain kills, um, whatever I'm left with is actually the profit. And I'm also going to do a guesstimate on how much money I spent on supplies so that we can figure out if I actually made any money uh, in these 30 days. So, yeah, anyway, that's what that's going to be. So look forward to that, and it's going to be pretty cool. Alrighty, so we're going to do a pretty big stake into this guy and see what happens. Good luck. Moan Cass. Moan Case. Thanks, dude. Appreciate it. Much appreciated. Let's do it. Oh, we got the first hit. All right, we're down six. Down six. Eh. All right, big spec, big spec. Good job, good job. Double zero. Oh, we're fucked. 22. Come on, big hit, big hit. Come on, we got it. We got this, we got this. Come on, come on, we got this. Zeros. All right. Goof. Sweet. I got a pretty good steak. All right. Nice. All right, guys, I'm just going to end it right there and uh, kind of just, yeah, play it as it is. I don't know. You tell me how it was. It sucked, right? It fucking sucked. Damn. All right, I guess I gotta reshoot this. Fuck. Well, tomorrow's the finale. I hope you guys enjoyed this today. Um, maybe Mike will do a duo with me. Who knows? Uh, he's kind of not feeling that well today. Kind of got sick. Probably from me. I got sick from some chick. And, um... Yeah, that's kind of the chain of command right there. Um, anyway, I'll talk to you all soon. You all have a great day. Have a good one, guys and peace out.